hey guys taps here welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are good in this video i want to show you how to create a directory or listing website with wordpress for free if you are watching my video for the very first time or you are on my channel for the very first time you're welcome i am daps i'm so excited to have you here i upload videos every now and then around wordpress showing you how the things that are free the things that work and the things that do not in case you are into wordpress you want to learn more about wordpress this is where you should be hanging out and also if you are looking into making money with your wordpress website you want to learn exactly how to make money with your wordpress website you should be hanging out here WordPress indeed is an awesome tool for you to make money. Uh, unfortunately, not a lot of people know that. Currently, I'm giving away my six business model that took me from zero to millions with WordPress. So in case you want to learn that, you want to see exactly the six businesses I have done that took me literally from being broke, uh, being in debt and not being able to pay my rent to taking me to millions within the space of two years, then you should go now to dabstutorial.com and you will be able to get instant access to this business model without further ado let's get started into the tutorial let's come back to the back end of this wordpress website so let's come to appearance let's come to themes uh definitely let's come to add new yeah, searching for the plugin listing hive, we're able to find this theme here. So let's install this theme and activate. Okay, fantastic. We have this theme installed. You can see a recommendation here that we should install this plugin called HivePress. This is the plugin that powers this theme for us to be able to use the directory and listing functionalities in that sense. But I think it's, it's okay for us to install this plugin. The source is from WordPress repository and so let's install this plugin and activate as well. Okay, so let's return back to our plugin installer. That's done. Uh, so let's activate this plugin. So plugin has been installed and now we can return back to our dashboard. Fantastic. So let's see what our website looks like right now. Let's refresh this page. As you can see, we have an entirely new website, but this is not exactly what we want. So let's come back to our dashboard you would see a notice on the dashboard that says that if you want to start with the listing hive demo content please follow this screencast to import it so let's do that and that will take us to another page here and you would see the listing hive you see a tutorial here you can follow but you wouldn't need this tutorial if you are watching mine already uh, but also you can see a lot of tutorials here for you to customize your styles translations adding blocks adding short codes so you can still come here and have this tutorial to yourself uh, they will come in very handy for you so let's download the demo content files here as you can see the link here so let's click this and we have our demo files installed that's pretty much everything we need to get done but for us to be able to install this demo content we also need the help of a plugin uh, so let's come to plugin and let's come to add new so just type in demo content we will see this plugin called one click demo import so let's use this plugin let's install and activate it okay fantastic we have this plugin installed okay so for us to be able to use this plugin to import our demo we'll come to appearance and we see a new option here for import demo data so we click this and then we can scroll down you'll see that we have three options here so uh let's open a zip file so that we can unzip it for us to have access to this content so okay yeah uh, let's extract this file okay and then i can close this I have my content here listing hive demo so what i can do is to do a drag and drop uh, you can see that here we, ha we have to choose a file content import and this is the content here so i can just drag this here and that's good i can drag the widget as well here then do the last one which is the customizer file so let's bring that here okay so we have the three files here so let's import the content 
important please wait so we have to wait a minute or two for this to be done we have our demo data imported and you can see that's it it's all done uh, so let's come back to our website now and let's do a refresh we have our website here ready and you can see that we have quite an awesome website here uh, with listings here and there and you can i have i'm already signed in i can easily add the listing button here uh, click the button add the listing and then i can select the category of my listings houses apartment rooms uh, let's do houses then i can select uh, the title of the house my price my bedroom my bedroom my footage square my all those things and once those things are done then i can hit the submit button and then i have i have my listing life it starts very simple and this is my account page you can visit the account page as well so you can see my listings my settings and i can sign out So I can select my profile image, my first name, my last name, my my profile information uh, in that sense. Let's see exactly what it will look like if I want to be checking the website without signing in. So let me copy this URL. And I'll have to open it in an incognito window. So this is exactly what it will look like not signed in. You can as well still have the listing here. And if you click that button, you will see that you will be required to sign in or create an account. And definitely you can register here, put your email and your password and you get all your details and then click register. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic theme and I believe it will come in very handy for you. You can check all the pages, you can check. This is the vendors page. Basically, you can see what the vendors page will look like. Uh, this should be what the vendors would see once they register on your website for them to be able to list what they want to sell. And you can see your name, your profile, and all your active listings. For example, let's check out these listings. Let's see what it will look like. So you can see what the listing really do look like here. But one thing you will notice here is that the people don't have the options to communicate directly with you or to buy directly from you uh, these are features that you can get as an extra hard done to this team and i think i will touch on that briefly before i end this video so let's go back let's quit incognito mode and let's continue the tutorial okay so let's come back to this page here and this is the official website of ivepress so let's let's come to the home page and let's check it out so you can see this is the theme we just installed now here and you can you can check the live demo but there's no need we just saw that on my on my website so we can check the extensions for us to see exactly what we can still do with them but i would really like to let you know that this theme here is free but the plugin definitely too is free but for you to have some functionalities for you to be able to use it for business to sell to do all those things you may need to buy some extensions so they have quite some extensions here that are free and some that are paid so depending on what you want to achieve so you can come down here and check out things for yourself but let me do a, a rush through for you so in case you want to do memberships you want people to be members to you before they can list then you would be you would need to purchase a plugin that will help you get that done and that will cost you $29 basically. And okay, if also allow users to sell listings, you want to let people sell their listings. They don't need to just be members. They can just register and sell. And apparently you can maybe earn a commission from them selling. Uh, you want to just make it a marketplace. You need to buy a plugin that will get that future done for you as well. If you want users to be notified of new listings, you will need to buy a plugin also that will get that done for you, and that's $19. If you want to allow users to post requests and receive offers, 
uh, you have to buy a plugin that will get that as well. That's twenty nine dollars. Social links. You want to add social links to your listing so that people can follow your social media handles to get to know more about uh, the person and all of those things. You will need to buy a plugin that will also get that done. You want to add your opening hours in case you open between a particular hour to the other. You want your listings to just be down once you are not uh, you are not online. You want to have that functionality, definitely another nineteen dollars would get that done for you. You want to have tags to your listings, you want to uh tag your listings so that anybody searching things around tags on the website can find your listings. You want to have that functionality, definitely you also need to buy uh, an extension that will get this done. And also for statistics, uh you need to you want to see statistics of what your listings is doing, uh your listings are doing you want to check the statistics of what your listings are doing you will need to come check this plugin as well for 19 dollars uh you want to see how many people have viewed your listings what are the what is the click through rate the demographics of people checking your listings where are they checking from what time are they checking uh you have to do that you want to have paid listings you want to have uh people pay to list uh on your website and good thing this plugin is free you can download it and install that so you can charge users for adding and futuring a list and this is fantastic for them to give you this for free honestly it's it's something you rarely come across uh, so you can just unload this and install and you have the functionality so for someone to be able to list anything on your website the person definitely will have to pay you an agreed amount you set uh, Claim listings as well. You can charge users for claiming a list. Uh, this is free uh, as well. You can you can have a button to 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 segment your favorite listing. This is free as well. Authentication. You can allow users to authenticate via a third party service. If you want to keep your website from spam, you uh, you should do that you it's also a free plugin you can download here and install into the website uh you want to be able to send private messages you want to allow users to send private messages uh this is also free and geolocation allow users to search listings by location this is also free and you can also allow reviews for your listings this is also free so you can come here come download all of these things and then you would be able to get access to all of this and i also showed you uh, earlier on how you can get some video tutorials that can help you and also they have documents here as well that can help you that documentation and you can also see a link to their support but i'm not sure if there is any good support for free members so i think this this plugin comes in handy for you uh the beauty about this plugin is that it's not like those plugins that just charge you straight up eighty dollars, seventy dollars, or sixty dollars. They try to segment things into into preferences. So what you want, you mean you definitely shouldn't even need everything here. Based on what you want, you can just select the plugins you need, the free ones and also the paid ones for you to customize your website into whatever you want it to be. Um not sure you should have any problem trying to use this plugin and also you can still you can come to the back end you can play around with the website you can see your listings here uh, you can come to listings hard new create categories for your listings it's that simple uh, your vendors you can manually create vendors in case you want to do that and you can definitely still also allow them register at the front end like you saw earlier and that's that's pretty much it and it's that simple by the time you install the extensions you have more functionalities like location setting locations and also in listings uh, it's that very simple or easy if you have any problem doing that you can let me know maybe i can do another follow-up video around that to show you step by step but again, if you have any questions, you can just ask me in the comment section. I should be able to give you answers. Uh, that's it. You can come to I've press here and check their themes and their extensions. You can also see, see them uh, within your WordPress dashboard. You can come to your settings here and choose your listing page. 
in case you want to have a very ID custom page for yourself, you can choose any other page you want to use. You can listing this page display. You can display categories in case you want to. You can create how many listings you want to show per page. You can do 15 in case you want to do 20 in case you want to do how many numbers uh, basically you feel you're comfortable with. It's good, but I wouldn't recommend you you load as many per page depending on the uh, well i think the number that you would be using per page will be dependent on the the hosting service you're using if you're using a shared hosting you want to keep your website as light as possible but if you have a very strong uh, hosting uh, then why not you can load 50 pages on 100 listings per page if you if you have the capacity to do that uh future listing per page you can set all the settings here and just i'm not sure you should have problems and also for your emails you can customize your emails and how the emails should uh the content of the emails in that sense and once you're done you can hit the save changes button here and everything is done and over with so from here you see that it's just quite very easy for you to customize pages so let's come back to the front end you can edit this page that's one of the amazing thing about this team. This team is built on Gutenberg, and that means it's super light, super fast. And you know that you have a website that is very, very, very light. So you can see that just with normal WordPress editing, you can edit practically everything on the page. So if you click this, this is uh, the listing here. So you can show the number of columns you want, the numbers. So you can practically... And you can just change this to a category and just do houses alone and you can leave it there if you want all the categories to show uh the column here is three if i do four you i should be able to see it reflect as you can see i've got four now so depend it's it's very easy for you to customize <laughs> i'm not sure you should have a problem so for this as well it's still the same thing three by three so you can do four by four you can whatever you want to do in that sense you can so i think we just have just three but we can do two for example uh yeah so you can see that but let me leave it back at three i have uploaded videos around gutenberg in time past with some themes and how you can get more of gutenberg i'll also be i've also showed how you can enhance your gutenberg uh your your gutenberg block i would i would be uploading another video on a plugin you can use that will give you more functionalities more landing pages that you can use on uh on gutenberg and it will come in very very handy for you to check out for that tutorial on on template for gutenberg pages so that way you can design a highly customized page for yourself very beautiful using Gutenberg because it's Gutenberg doesn't mean doesn't mean that it has to be it has to be average it can't be beautiful uh, Gutenberg is super light and super fast and as well it can also still be super beautiful and that's the beauty about Gutenberg thank you very much for watching this video I hope this video has been able to help you get started with your directing and listing website uh, if you have any question you know what to do if you find this video very useful give me a thumbs up give me feedbacks on your interaction with the theme let me know how you feel if you like this video then definitely say something nice to me in the comment section i would love to hear that from you thank you so much for your time do not forget to subscribe do not forget to hit the notification bell because that's the only way you get notified anytime i post more awesome content more awesome videos like i do always thank you very much and that's it for this video have a wonderful time <music>